So I don't know if you guys have, if you guys have been following me for a while, um, you may have noticed in some of my videos on the passenger seat there is a seat cover. I mean, it's not really a seat cover. It's more like just a rug that has like this fur on it that's put on the seat. And the reason for that is um, my wife claims that she gets sick, um, not only nauseous, but headaches and something that she's referring to as spin inversion when she's in this vehicle. So I'm curious if anybody else has that uh, feeling. Uh, she's referring to something uh, called spin inversion that is is a counter effect or, or some sort of an effect from either an electromagnetic or um, battery magnetic field type thing and it would make sense that the the base of this car is a battery um, but I'm not so sure I guess I'm gonna do some quick research and we'll see if if we can um, identify if there's any type of battery issue that could cause you to be sick or have spin inversion so when I say skateboard we don't mean a skateboard like this but something more like the skateboard you see here on the screen um, where it's a structural component of the vehicle it mimics this because it has the four wheels and it has a flat kind of bottom to it but think about the batteries as almost something like this where you have battery cells lined up all along the bottom of the skateboard so essentially you'd be sitting here or here or here or here and you'd have the batteries right underneath your, your bottom. And surprisingly the battery does look like this. Uh, I had a chance to work with a lot of electric vehicle companies out in California and I was shocked to see that the battery is about this size and when you couple them all together there's hundreds of them. So I went and picked up this uh, EMF reader. It's called Meter K. It was $19.99 at Walmart. So I'm not expecting it to be the most uh, precise measurement I think what it will do is tell us if there is any type of EMF um, signal being transmitted into the air so I'm gonna read through this little user manual and then we'll start measuring some things in my house just to get a baseline and then um, we'll move out to the car so the first thing I did was kind of walk around my kitchen and test the different uh, appliances in my house. They're all Wi-Fi enabled, um, but nothing really triggered with the exception of the microwave. You could see uh, when I turned it on and even when it wasn't on, um, the display of the EMF was, was bright red.
Okay, so just finished driving. Um, I've done a lot of different tests with this uh, EMF and I'm really not able to get it to trigger other than on the inductive charger. It, it go, Without fail, if I place it on the inductive charger, I can get it to um, alert me with a high, rel uh, relatively high rating. There's nowhere else in this vehicle that I can get that to happen. Uh, either stopped driving, performing some sort of function like turning, uh, opening my garage door with the uh, with the uh, home home app, home link app. Uh, I can't get that to trigger. Sometimes in the the uh, pillar cameras, I can get it to just uh, go to point one, point two. But again, that's not very repeatable. I've checked the mirrors, the rear view mirrors where they're supposedly Wi-Fi. Um, I have put it on the floor of everywhere in this vehicle. I've put it up against the battery compartment on the, the bottom of the uh, vehicle um, and I cannot get this thing to trigger. So my conclusion is uh, that if this is throwing off some EMF, it's relatively low. I will say I had it underneath my seat at one point while I was driving and my phone is in my back pocket. I got a, a vibration from a text message coming through from my phone and the EMF started alerting on here. So. My conclusion is that you are getting more EMF from the cell phone uh, than you're getting from this vehicle. Uh, I don't know how else to, to debunk that, but that, that is, that is um, you know, my unprofessional opinion. I'm by no means an engineer, but uh, my conclusion is that there is not a lot of EMF in this vehicle, and if there is, it's probably the same as you would get in a normal ICE combustion engine type. Um, vehicle and less than you would get uh, just from your actual cell phone or microwave inside your house.